The Ferrari Enzo, powered by a 660 horsepower V12, is a technological tour de force with Ferrari's Formula One experience transferred to the road. To drive a Ferrari Enzo is a special honor for me, for sure, because I think that's a car who's looking incredible and it's a big history to the car. And yeah, I think it is a good developed car. All the F1 experience is uh, in this car involved, so I am not sure what we can expect, but I'm sure this car will be not the slowest one.
even in the warm-up lap, driver Mark Basseng is able to comfortably stay below 7 minutes 50 seconds. Uh, the lap of the answer was quite good, especially the F1 shifting between the steering wheel. This car is good for left foot braking. You have the hands all the time on the steering wheel. You can be concentrated a little bit more on the track if you have a normal H pattern gearbox. The only thing was that electronic dampers, they are uh, a little bit too hot during the, rap, the lap, so we're losing uh, the damping in the first lap. Uh, and I think that's a problem of overheating. I think we will sort that out. But instead of these, the lap time was really good. After tyre pressure is adjusted and the car has been refuelled, the car exits the pits. The Enzo is already extremely fast. With its fantastic carbon ceramic discs, Mark is able to use every inch of the track, braking at the last moment, allowing him to reach unbelievable values in top speed. At the Döttinger Höhe, telemetry records 308.9 kilometers an hour. After half of the track, Mark experiences a problem when the electronic shock absorber's warning light comes on and the system goes into a safety program. The problem seems to derive from the hard compressions on this track. Despite the issue, the Enzo manages to complete the lap in 7 minutes 25.21 seconds, a formidable time. <laughs> 